Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm going to do a player review on uh, Shapeshifter Lucas Mora. And uh, everyone knows about this card. It's overpowered. Is it? Uh, I didn't know he was left footed. Why is his preferred foot left foot? I'm pretty sure he's meant to be a right foot. But I think they might have changed it. That's interesting. Or it's a mistake. But everyone knows about his 83, card, 83 rated card. His center forward card. And that was overpowered. So this card should be overpowered. I don't know why it says left foot. But he's five foot nine, high medium, four star, four star. He fits the he fits the meta of the game, which is five foot nine, five foot eight. And then looking at his in-game stats, pace amazing, finishing, uh, attack positioning, shot power amazing. Um, okay, like he's got good passing, but it's not like amazing. His dribbling is pff, his dribbling is amazing. And then he's got good stamina, ninety nine jumping, sixty three strength, seventy nine aggression. So this card just. I, I, it's gonna it's gonna, be a, it's gonna be a game breaker i think in my brilliant opinion because it's such a good card but i bought him for how much did i buy him for 664k i don't know if he's dropped already he might have yes he's already dropped so i've already lost a lot of money uh if you want to go check out the mares player play of the route uh i did a, a mares player review so if you want to go check that out you can and i lost about 80 90k on him on him already so i'm already lost about 70k on lucas so yeah anyway um let's do a player review on him uh let's go on footprint to see what chemistry has to put on him so guys this is his card and uh yeah his his uh, a3 rated card is a right foot card so he they changed his um uh, his um uh, his uh what's it called again his main foot which is a uh, right foot to left foot then left foot i don't know why they did that but anyway let's do a chem style uh maybe a marksman Yep, for me straight away I think it's a marksman or a dead eye. If you want to get his passing up. So it's, but for me it looks like it will be a marksman. Maybe a maestro. Yeah, but maestro I would like his finishing to go up as well. But maestro is very good on him. Maybe a maestro. What do the footbin people say? They said a dead eye and a marksman. Maybe a dead eye is better on him actually, thinking about it. Yeah, with a dead eye you can get his passing up as well. Because he already has amazing uh, dribbling already really. So you don't really need to improve that. So yeah, let's put a dead eye on him and we'll get into a game. But before we get into a game, I'm playing him in a 4-2-3-1. And I'm playing him as striker because for me, either he's got the stats to play striker. So I'll put him getting behind and stay central. So yeah, let's get into a game. So the first team we're coming up against is uh, a decent team. He's using uh, loan versions of Henri and Coleman and he does have 92 Hazard so it's a very good team. Lucas his first touch. Oof, he's fast. I keep forgetting now he's left footed which is so weird. I don't know why they did that. Oh my days look at the agility and balance he almost gets past that other defender as well. So weird man. I don't know why they changed him to a left foot. It's so weird playing with him. I'm so used to playing him with as a right foot player. Gotta keep, I can't forget that he's using his left foot now. He's fast in it. Look at that. I think it's better for playing as a as a right cam because of his left foot. I don't really like a striker as a left footed player. Got a chance here with Lucas. Oh, he has to score here. There we go. With his left foot. So, sounds so weird saying left foot because he's the right foot player. I don't know why they've done that. It's so annoying. But I just, well, obviously, I was going to score with his strong foot, which is his left foot. Nice pass to Lucas and what a touch. And he scores. What a goal. What a goal. So, it's half time, guys. And uh, Lucas Mora scored both of the goals. He has an 8.8 .8 rating already. Scored two two goals out of two shots, complete two out of two passes, four out of eleven dribbles. Because I was testing it, I was get I was getting get, the reason why he only has four out, four out of eleven dribbles because I just had to try to get used to that left foot because it's weird playing with him as a left footed player. But I want to try him at right cam, so I'm going to do that now. Just put Ben Yedder in strike, and that's how we're going to do it. Get a bit lucky there, like Lucas Moura lost the ball, but it went to my player. Brilliant from him there. Oh, I was trying to do a heel to heel, but we gave the guy gives the ball back to him, and we get tackled. Oh, there we go. That the pace, 
Let's take a finesse shot with him and keeper saves it. Oh, I thought he might have scored that. That's why I took it from there. Kazim in there running to the box, but it gets blocked off. So it's full time, guys, and we actually lose the game 3 2. The guy did the comeback. I can't believe I've lost that match. But Lucas does get 8.7 rating. Um, he had two, two. Um, he scored two goals. Uh, it was a bad, it was a bad idea playing my right cam because I just can't get used to that playing him as a left foot player. He's just in a suit here at all, and uh, he had three shots, uh, two on target, two on. Tar I mean, three shots, three on target. He should have scored that other one where that could have made the game. Uh, was it could have made the game three nil or the three one? I could have made it. That would have won me the match, and I felt like he should have scored. And then he completed 15 out of 15 passes, 11 out of 24 dribbles. So it was hard for me to dribble with him because I just couldn't get used to that left foot of his. He resisted the suit here at all. So uh, I'll give my final review on him now. So guys, I don't know really what to say. Don't know really. So guys, I don't I don't know what to really say about this card. Because if he was a right foot player still, he would be amazing. But I just can't, couldn't get used to a left foot. Maybe I have to need to play much more, um, uh, more games with him to like get used to that left foot. But other than that, he was a very good card in terms of like his pace and his dribbling. Um, uh, I, I did get to, sh I did uh, test his shooting guy. He scored uh, two out of three shots uh, on target, so that was very good as well. His passing was uh, good as well. He completed 15 out of 15 passes, so there's nothing wrong with that. You just, I think, I just had to play more games with him. To test him out really properly, but for 600k, I feel like that's a bit too expensive for this card. I feel like if he was about about less than 500k, about 400k, then I'd buy him. But for this price range, I don't think he's worth it, and he's already dropped to like about 550, I think. So I've lost a lot of money again on a, another card. But I'm trying to do player reviews, uh, player reviews for you guys, so it's worth it. So uh, I'm gonna give him a nine out of ten. Um, so yeah, that's my final review on him. So I hope you like this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.